We are just about to start period number three. For those of you just joining us, perfect timing here tonight. And we are still scoreless. like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well and this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity grabbed along the board by Tatar oh and that misses ah oh, you can see the frustration in his face as he looks up at the roof this guy knows how important it is to get the first marker in the game stopped by the goaltender ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up Cole's been showing some frustration. You know, when you want to contribute as an athlete, especially when you have a strong skill set, and then you're in a pointless streak, man, the frustration grows, and it builds, and you start to squeeze the tip tight. And a stick break set up. Moves it quickly over to Tatar. Good hit to bump him off the puck. Quick pass to Tatar. Right in front. What a stop with the paddle by Campbell. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Pucks it away in his own end. Can't keep a hold of it. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. The Leafs have it now. Here's a shot. Denies him in close. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes a save. Toronto's going to hold the puck now. Here's a chance. Oh, what a What pressure here on the offensive end. And the defense come away with it here. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. in now. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Here they come up along the wing. Quick feed to Kuzma. Great chance and an even better save. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Heinen's won the face off here in the offensive zone. Stop by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We're still scoreless. Belmar has won it off the faceoff. Moves it on over to Camp. The Leafs move it in. Moves it to Belmar. For the low slot. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Center's gliding up to the faceoff dots here. Heinen's won it in their own end. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Seitzev. Toronto's got the puck. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Grabs the puck. Heinen's taken down to the ice. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the call. Parkins will serve two for tripping. Won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. Came up with the save on that play. 
gets it out of his own end. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Now over to Taves. Pushes it across to Johnson. Passes it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Pittsburgh's road trip comes to an end after this tonight before they kick off a homestand in front of one of the better bases in the league. Looking forward to getting there. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. We got a whistle offside the call. Matthews plays with so much confidence, guys. He can deke his way to the net, then finish the play with a quick shot before anybody can figure out what's even happening. That's his shock and awe zone ability. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. And there's the save of the play. Too much congestion blocks the shot. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded because of a tripping call. A nice little break for the defenseman here. One less forward to deal with as we have some four-on-four -four hockey on tap. Four-on-four, four, you want to utilize north, south, east, west, and capitalize on the speed with the extra ice available. You can get your... Shooter shows good patience on this shot, James, just waiting for the goaltender to drop. Once he does and he drops into that butterfly position, there's enough firm upstairs to be able to beat him. Pittsburgh's finally got the game's first goal. And sure, we needed that. Hopefully we sold it properly. Uh, I hope so, because it hasn't been a flying affair. It's really been a snooze fest here in the booth. But now they break it open at least a little bit. Hopefully they can continue being aggressive and put another one by. And now he tries to get it across to Ovechkin. Centering feed! And that stops! Way really too much congestion blocks that. And the puck's not loose. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And he takes the pass. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Takes it and looks ahead. The Penguins preserve the lead as their penalty killers get the job done. Specialty teams are critical, especially when you're down by a goal and you have an opportunity to get the equalizer, and they just want to stop. Just aim for the inside of the post and know that it's going to go in. 
That's not typically the case, but tonight it is. And we got a stoppage in play. A timeout has been called to try to stop the bleeding here. Yeah, I mean, giving up two quick goals, you got to find a way to reset and refocus. So some small reminders to get back to the good defensive habits. A bit of a rinse and repeat trend here going on with the personnel they're electing to go with. We have to manipulate your lineup somehow. You've got to create some offensive production, James. You've got to go with your scoring players. You know how to get it done when you're trailing by one. Seinsev's lugging the puck. And they cough it up at center. Toronto's got it in the neutral zone. Nylander's going to play it against the half wall. Now a quick pass to Karyanov. What a steal in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Carlo. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Made the stop on that play. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Split feed. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Quick pass to Corriano. Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop by Jari. The net is empty. A big draw here looking inside the offensive end. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Through, fires to the empty net, and it misses. Feeds it to Theodore. There's a shot. Big save just as time runs out. There's the final horn, and that'll we'll do it here this evening. Well, here was a game that went back and forth, and you know, when you're winning, you find ways to win these types of games, but when you're losing, the streak continues here, Founder. Yeah, it really does. And for the coaching staff, they're going to go into the room and they're going to try and draw some positives from it. But I'm telling you, the team doesn't want to hear it because at the end of the day, it's still a loss.
moments away from puck drop for period number three. A perfect time for those viewers just joining us here tonight. And we are all tied up at two goals apiece. Through pass ahead. Misses a golden opportunity there. It's real difficult to get to the middle of the ice. Often you pay the price, and he's got a golden opportunity from the slot area and just misses. Slides the puck over to Stevenson. On the attack along the boards. Shot. Stops him with a gun. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does. He makes a nice save. We're still in the early stages of this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Stevenson's won the draw there on the attack. Just slide. And he takes the dish. The Canucks gain the zone. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Stevenson's been brought down and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Anytime you lose position on your opponent, this can happen. He gets the sticks out from the feet of his opponent, and guess what? He gets the tripping ball. Guys, this penalty kill is ranked top 10 in the league, and sometimes you think about the other team having momentum on their power play, right? Well, this team can suck the momentum right out of that with how good this PK is. Let's see what happens here. And the puck leaves the zone. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Eight balls getting called for tripping on the play. What an opportunity here for the man advantage unit. It's a five on three with plenty of time to work. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Takes the feed from his own end. Pacioretty is known to be a pure goal scorer, but not tonight. He's distributed. Score! Send a gun in front, thanks to the power play goal. Well, it's all about manipulating the PK, and that's what they did so well to take advantage of that opportunity. Never want to see yourself on that screen in the video room on a goal, James. There's been a defensive error, and then you get caught covering up, and everyone gets caught out of position. As a result, it's in the back of your net. Well, the coach has called the timeout here. I like the strategy because they, they need a refresh yeah, here. They, they really do, James. I mean, two quick goals, and you can really be on your heels, and you can let it get to you mentally as well. So just resetting, recalculating, if you will, finding a way to get back out there and put the pressure on. And there's a little help from your friends right there from off the wing coming up with the puck. Here's a pass in front. for the squad. Oh, uh, yeah, this PK unit, they're out there for a reason, James. You have to be able to clear the puck, and it's easier said than done, but they make no mistake this time. Sends the pass over. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And now he moves it quickly to Hughes. Vegas looks to get things going now with the puck. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. They've got numbers here. Moves it to the middle. And that's intercepted. Vegas plays it along the wall. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Miller. Into the offensive end now. There's a chance of throws. And he denies that great opportunity there. Denies him again. He's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. 
change takes the return feed Cuts to the front. Big time blocker stopped by Demko well that shot came quick and it was right out front he had to be sharp he'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes and, we have the answer on that one. and we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on Vancouver's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Takes the shot, and that goes off a body. Drawing it right to the front. Taken along the wall by Anderson. Great pressure on the offensive end by Dickinson. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. PK Lunas can have to find a way to save off the power play here and get the job done. The Canucks win all. Possession in the defensive end. 
Vancouver's through center right now in the offensive end. And now it's grabbed by Lilgren. Handles the puck. Poked away at center ice. Puck grabbed by Lilgren. Vegas has it in the defensive end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Leading in the game, up by one. Just have the presence of mind to kill the clock. Put the puck in deep. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Here's a blast! Oh, what a stop! Take the shot! And the Leafs make the final 10 straight victories for this squad! They have come, they have seen, and they have conquered yet again. Ten straight wins now. Yeah, I mean, it's been a complete game, hasn't it? I mean, whether they're on the back check, whether they're on the forecheck, special teams, everything seems to be firing on all cylinders right now.